Hey students, this is a brief overview of how to start thinking about painting uh, with watercolors and specifically creating a background pages for your sketchbook. Uh, the first thing that you want to think about is getting some scratch paper to paint on. Um, and the scratch paper can be anything. It can be the back of an old printer paper, um, just anything that um, has a lot of space for you to paint and explore. In addition to your paint set, you'll need a water cup and a brush. Um, I have a paper towel to dab my brush on and clean it. Um, I found an old gift card that I'm gonna use uh, to create some line designs. And I also uh, have this cotton ball and I'll show you how I use that to create um, my circle shapes today. Okay. So the first technique I'd like to demonstrate is wash technique. Essentially the wash technique is adding water to your brush, adding water to your paint, and the color getting lighter. Um, anytime you switch colors today, you'll want to wash your brush and dab it on your paper towel. So on the first side, I showed some wash technique with one color. Um, and to the right, I'm going to show wash technique with three. So you'll notice that I painted three colors and left a little bit of space between. Right now, it's just a solid wash. If I want to blend the colors together, I'm going to add a little water to my brush and pull the color down so that it gets lighter. So you'll notice that the blue transitions to a very light blue by adding water. I'm going to wash my brush, dab it on my paper towel, and then pull some of that yellow up to the blue. And what happens is the colors blend and create a transition from that blue to yellow. I'm going to do the same thing between the yellow to the green. I'm going to take the darker color, pull it up, wash my brush, dab it, take the lighter color to pull it down. So this is one color by adding paint to your brush. And then again, add water, pull it down so that the water gets lighter. Okay, wash technique. The second technique I'd like you to explore is adding patterns uh, with line designs. So you'll notice that I chose some colors uh, just to create some simple line designs with my paintbrush. Um, one thing to think about, again, is keeping your colors really clean and also choosing colors that are similar. So you'll notice that I use some warm colors over here to create my line designs. Um, if you have an old uh, credit card or gift card, you can create some really fun lines with the card by taking your watercolors, paint the side of the card like so, and then tap it on your paper. Your home that you can use to complement what we're doing in the class. Um, the final technique I'd like you to explore today is overlapping shapes. I used this cotton ball, like I mentioned, and what I did was I stamped these three blue circles and let them dry in order to create a different color. I'm using the other side of the cotton ball. I added a little water, squeezed it out. darker color within or beneath and that'll make a cool effect. So today is all about play and exploration. Um, look around, see what you can paint with, what you can draw with. Um, if you're limited to this one thin paintbrush, using a cotton ball to paint some big lines would work really great. Another option is a toothbrush. I'm going to dip the toothbrush in my water bucket dry it off on my paper towel. You can dip that brush right into your paint. 
So you can see I have some purple paint on the bottom or on the bristles of the brush and then use that to create some interesting textures and lines. So before you paint in your sketchbook, explore. Try some of these techniques on. When you're ready to paint in your sketchbook, I recommend placing a piece of scratch paper in between your pages because the, the scratch or excuse me, the sketchbook paper is quite thin. This will help absorb some of the water. Have fun. Try these out. Um, and I can't wait to see hear what kind of techniques you try and, and see them as well.